Hey guys, this is Mac Eclipsed, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cool wallpaper for your desktop or just for fun. So let's get into it. So you're going to create a new image, and I've set mine to 1280 by 800. That's my screen resolution. So once you have that, you're going to go to your paint bucket tool and you're gonna get your color but you're gonna do a very dark gray not completely black that looks good you're gonna fill it in then you're going to create a new layer we're gonna hide this layer for now and you're gonna get your ellipse tool and you're gonna draw a circle about that size and yours won't look like this yours will be probably all shaded in. I'm going to show you how to get it to look like this. So once you have your ellipse shaded in, you're going to go to layer, layer style, blending options, and put your fill opacity at 50%. And then you're going to go to stroke and check it. And you're going to put your size to 10 pixels and your position to inside and this should all look good make sure your colors on completely black here so once you got that you're going to so select none so just click outside the layer and you're going to edit define brush preset so we're going to just call this bubble and once you have this you can delete the layer and put this layer back and you're gonna create a new layer and we're just gonna call it gradient we'll call this one BG for background so in this we're gonna create a custom gradient go to your gradient tool and go to your gradient editor and for your first color for this you're gonna select this one and you're gonna double click on that to change the color you're gonna set it to an orangish color for this first one you're gonna set the next one to a dark purple you're gonna set this one to a lime blue color and you're going to set this one to a yellow so we've got that set you're gonna click OK and you're gonna draw your gradient hang on here oops so get a good gradient in and so I'm just gonna do that for now so once you're done with that sorry about that um you're gonna put the opacity a little lower to darken it up so maybe around around 25 that's good 26 and once you're done with this you are going to create a folder so you're gonna click this icon down here and then you're gonna change the mode to color dodge and you're gonna create a layer and it should go below that and the, this is gonna be your bubbles layer where you're gonna draw your bubbles so before we start drawing the actual bubbles in here you're gonna go to window brush or just hit F5 or function F5 if you're on a Mac and you're going make sure you have your brush tool selected before you go there so brush and you're gonna go all the way down to the brush we just made which is this one okay and go to brush and you're gonna set this this you can keep the size big but you're gonna set the spacing to very high we're gonna put it at around 650 percent 
that's good you're gonna go to shape dynamics size jitter 100 percent and control pen pressure and you can keep all this the same then you're gonna go to transfer or for this you're gonna press control off and then transfer you're gonna set the opacity jitter to 50 percent the control off and then the flow jitter the opacity 50 percent or the 50 percent here and then control pen pressure so once you got that make sure smoothing is also checked and we can X out of that and make sure you have white selected before you start coloring so for make sure you have the brush we just made selected you're just gonna set the size to around 300 and you're going to make a couple big dots like that Put one up there and then you're gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur and you're gonna set to the radius to around 20 pixels like that then you're gonna reduce the brush size to around 180 or so then you're gonna put some more in here like that and you're gonna go to blur Gaussian blur and you're, this time you're going to set the radius to around 5 and then lastly you're going to reduce the brush size to around 90 or so I'm just going to set some more down like that so it's a nice bubble background you can play around with the way you make these dots the gradient on the outside this obviously isn't great cuz it's I'm rushing through it but you know what I mean just play around with it give it your own touch so thanks for watching